act as human weather balloons was the least of their problems. Hey, Rick, get to safer ground. Glenn, get back behind the building. I don't want you blown away. Timing those waves out, watching that water move in. On November 1st, 2012, Hurricane Sandy slammed the northeastern seaboard, doing an unprecedented amount of damage in both property and lives. The 26th Marine Expeditionary Unit mobilized immediately, frying from North Carolina aboard MV-22 Bravo Osprey tilt rotors, embarking aboard the USS Wasp, a Navy warship, for the duration of relief operations. The unit began operations by conducting reconnaissance overflights in UH-1 Huey gunships, flying over the affected neighborhoods in the tri-state area to assess the damage. The MU utilized its organic aviation assets to deliver Marines to precisely where they were needed, demonstrating the flexibility of the Marine Air Ground Task Force. I was going to say, it was, it was just shocking to see something like this so close to home. Um, you know, you always, you always picture the military going out and helping out overseas, and, and it's, it's amazing to know that when something like this hits so close to home that uh, we can come together and get, get it done. Um, and help out. Snapper 3, next street Pioneer 1, next street Pioneer 2. You've got sanitation supervisors and trucks. They're letting you make the assessments in the house. Again, you're not tied to loading trash in the truck. Uh, work with the sanitation department, helping people move debris out of their houses. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, make it happen. We're very uh, happy to see that the Marines have showed up and uh, are really pitching in. And very helpful, very nice to us. Um, you know, this is this is New York, and you don't really see the need for the Marines. And to see them for the first time since I've ever grown up in New York City, my whole life, and to see them is is more important right now than I've ever felt before. That um, what they can do to help, I never realized the, the devastation at this large scale, and to have these have all of these men and women helping us move things. The weight of the items are just something we couldn't handle. So that alone has helped us tremendously. Yeah, Marines focused their efforts in the worst hit areas, flying and sailing to Staten Island and Queens to clear the worst of the damage from the neighborhoods hit by the hurricane. I first saw the Marines coming in uh, from Rockaway convoy, and uh, I can't even tell you how important it was to us to know that, you know, we were going to be in good hands. It was going to be, I know as a former Marine, it was going to be professionally done, and that uh, no matter what was needed, we were going to get it. Uh, at that point. Um, came in with Navy, uh, Marine Forces, uh, came in here to Rockaway Beach. Uh, as you can see behind me, the destruction uh, hit the beach pretty hard. Um, we came in uh, in an effort to try to clear the alleyways in between the houses to get the water out from under uh, the structures. The Marines have been huge. Uh, being able to take away all the debris, pump out as much water as they could from basements, just you know, giving us that general feel-good blanket that you guys are here with us. So it's been huge. Uh, Marines especially, I mean, they're here, you know, they say first in, last out, you know, and uh, they have been here, you know, helping out, like I say. You know, walking around, there were Marines, they'd come in, they'd say, how can we help you? Do you need stuff out of your house? What, do you need us to go in? When we were like, our house isn't really secure, we're not supposed to be in there. We'll go in, shut the window. What, what do you need us to do? So it's just been nice to have that support from other people. It was amazing to see the Marines come in. I mean, it's, uh, uh, I actually cried, so that's how important that was to me. And, and you could just see our whole neighborhood here, as destroyed as it is, has just settled into knowing we've got help, knowing we have people who can give us direction. Oh, when I saw you guys coming in, it was just a uh, tremendous relief. 
I mean, it was, it was just, it was unbelievable. You guys came into the convoy, and I was like, oh God, finally someone's here to help us. You know, and uh, really just uh, renewed my pride in this country. 26 Mu eventually returned to North Carolina on November 11th, continuing its pre-deployment training program. The unit is slated to deploy in early 2013.